All right, it's Casey Cameron Boy here. Just to put some of these fools on check. They don't know how to use their training signal, but they've been making up false charges onto people just to get them clipped. Well, here I am. What's up, Mr. Mora? How's it going? Long time no see. I know. Hey, um, I was heading home. Oh, wow. The academy. Yeah, yeah. So that street, there's a, the new stop sign. So he thought to do the stop sign like completely. Then when he made a turn to the next street, passing night, he didn't use his turn signal. Then on that whole street, he was driving in the middle of the street. I don't know if the officer's intoxicated or what's going on. I mean, because he failed to do the stop and he failed to use the signal, which I know that's a violation. And I know you guys been getting people for that, even as a lie as well, because I got reports from my community. I don't know if you're aware of it, what's going on right now. Well, Mr. McCoon, you're not aware of it? Oh, well, he's under investigation now, so. Yeah, well, the whole department, because I just put lots of public records. I'm being, I'm being honest to you. If you have arrested someone, I might get your hold of the people who you have arrested. So my lawyer's gonna be looking at it. If you did something wrong, I know I know you, but you're gonna get it by my lawyer too. Everybody, you know? <laughs> I know I know you, but uh, you know, if you done something wrong, everybody's gonna get it. And you know how it works. Oh, I'm not worried about it. Okay, no, I mean, you, if, if you haven't done anything wrong, you shouldn't. I'm just yeah. saying, you know, I'm just saying. Not but I'm asking you to talk to your, your employees, I mean, or your officers, because I mean, I what would happen if I, if I don't use the signal? You guys are gonna give me a ticket. Well, I don't know that. If, if I drive in the middle of the street, you might think I'm intoxicated, just like I thought he was intoxicated. You want me to talk to him about Yeah, you need to talk to him. I know it's Unit 101, and I'm going to place a public records on him because I'm assuming you, you guys have a GPS. So he might show the little the detour that he took because he, he drove on the other lane. He drove pretty much on the other lane. I don't know if he was taxiing. Well, I, don't I, I don't know what's going on, but yeah, man, you need to like... I know I can talk to you and ask you for that. Because yep. talking to other people in the department is like talking to my butt, pretty much. And I already tried it. And pretty much this video is going to be tagged um, for the city council. Because now I'm tagging everybody on the council board. I mean, I'm tagging everybody and, and it, it's, it's going to go down. I mean, the community is making a lot of complaints. And I mean, you should know. You should know what your officers are doing. I mean, you should. You should. I, I've been a supervisor. I know what people are doing as well. I so, you no, no, yeah, yeah. I mean, um, I need a public records request for him because I know someone got arrested for filming last week. Um, so I want to find out if there is any way you can get me one. Hang time. Hang time okay, enough. please, yeah, please. So it might be something that the records do with the people. Okay, thanks. So I'm told that's through records last Monday to Friday. Okay. So come back uh, uh, Monday or any time next week. So there is no there is no public records or what? Well, it's it's access to records. We don't have access to it. What do you mean? But Samantha should have left. The... Uh, I don't. We can't find it. Can I ask you to come Monday, maybe? Uh, are you the only supervisor in charge? Yeah, right now. At uh, what time is the next supervisor coming? Uh, the night shift. Or the night we, shift. We change shift at seven o'clock, seven p.m. Seven p.m. Yeah. Uh, but I'm asking our. our um, our communications so okay. they don't they don't know where to, where to get it. So how, how does the emails work here? Like it's a your first name and your your, your last name or, or for the for the city? For everybody, yeah. for everybody. So yeah. like yours will be a Mora uh Shafter Police Department the the That's So it. so what would it be for example for McCoon? Same uh Jeff uh yeah, Jay McCoon uh oh, okay, okay. Well uh sounds good. What are the boys? Hey man, Thank stay you. safe, nice Thank talking to you. Hey I'm asking you man like I'm telling you, like I know I can talk to you and tell your officers to behave, man. Like I've been getting a lot of a lot of complaints, right. and and don't think that I'm just speaking out of my butt. I, I wish they would come and talk to us. Though. That's the thing; they don't trust you. They well, trust me. Well, I, I hope that they will. Look, that that's the problem you guys have. They don't trust you neither. They trust the council, city of Shafter, city of residents. Like they trust me more than they do to you and the council all together. So and I mean, if if people are going to me, it's for a reason. And I'm telling you, if I would show you my phone, I got tons of pictures. I already, I already sent an email, like I said, I, said, I already sent it. It was yesterday, I believe, I sent an email. And I, the day before yesterday, and I told Chief, I told your captains, I told all the city members that if they want to sit down and talk, they haven't even responded. So at least now we know who we're going to vote out next elections. And we can also sign a petition. The, the community can also sign a petition to kick you guys out of the, out of the police department. We can actually get a whole brand new department if we, if, we, if we fight for it, if we place a petition. And believe me, California Highway Patrol, the Kern County Sheriff is going to come and kick you guys out because they're the next, the next agency close to us. And I wouldn't like you to get kicked out, man. Because yeah. the thing is, when that happens, I'm going to come and record the whole show. And I'm going to put you guys on blast. 
And I'm sure you guys don't want your wife, your, 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 your friends seeing you getting embarrassed, you know? And I don't put where I eat. So I wouldn't like to do that. That's what I'm giving that chance, you know, so we can talk and solve this. Because if it gets taken to court, which is most likely, because I'm trying to, I'm trying to go this big, man. But so, just behave, man. Just so behave. What I can do is I'll, I'll uh, let uh, the the farm know that you're gonna come. Okay. The well, they know, they know. So I mean, about the other one. So hopefully you tell them about this one. They have a record for me. You know, hey, stay safe, Mr. Mora. Go so cuidado, all right? All right. Well, that's it. Let me see, Casey, camera boy. So I'll tell them straight up what it is. Uh, I want to tell the Shafter residents, if you've been harassed by Shafter PD, if you get videos, if you got pictures, if you got anything, if you get witnesses, get a hold of me. I have a lot of people getting a hold of me and my lawyer is going to get it popping for everybody. It's going to rain. It's going to rain cash. And it's going to rain dry for these people here. It sucks because my lawyers from LA, they don't care about these people here. Believe me, their money is better in our pocket than in their pockets. We can do more with that money than they, they're doing right now for our city. And as I told them, I already got a hold of the city council members, I already got a hold of the chief of police, the captains. If they don't want to listen, we know who we're going to vote out for the next election. And actually, we can sign a petition. We can start a petition. We can get this department out. We can start a brand new department. So, And I would love to film them getting kicked out of this department. That would be lovely. So that's it. Casey Cameron, boy.